Do you own an SDX-160? Then you have to watch this video. So we're going to take a look at the breather on the SDX-160. You're going to remove this access door here, push the little tabs in, just like that, pull the access door out. There's your check valve right there. So you want to make sure that this hose is not kinked at all. So you're going to follow that all the way up, it goes up like this, and it comes over to your breather here. So this one already has the fix. This fix comes up into a little canister from the factory. If you do not have this, please at least do the fix or do the modification that we're going to show. It goes down to a low point. So it goes into this canister here, right here, and it shoots down out of this tube. This will prevent vacuum pressure buildup in your fuel tank. So this is the best fix currently for the STX-160. Now we're going to show you another way that you can prevent this. Due to the small fuel pump that Kawasaki used on the STX-160, it caused some issues that you might potentially have. Do you have any stuttering under full throttle? Do you have any surging at mid-range? Is your machine unable to go more than 50% throttle? Then this video is definitely going to help you. First off, most STX-160s that came off the assembly line had this breather port facing up. This breather port actually sucks in fresh air into the fuel tank so that as the volume reduces in the fuel tank, then this port allows fresh air to be sucked in to the tank to take up that volume that is being used as a fuel. So the issue is, if water gets in here, it's gonna clog this entire system which is going to suffocate your fuel pump. So your fuel pump is going to be unable to pump fuel if this hose or that valve is clogged. So the first thing we want to do is if your breather looks like this, you want to take it and move it down, just like that. That's going to prevent a lot of issues right there. Secondly, we're going to take off this door here and we're going to show you exactly where the breather is on the fuel tank so you can follow the hose up to make sure it's not kinked. And if you see the zip ties there, you have a one-way valve on that hose. So here's your one-way valve. And the one-way valve, the direction of flow is this way. So if water gets in this line here, you are screwed and it will prevent the fuel pump from pumping fuel to the engine. So you want to follow this hose all the way up and make sure it's not kinked. If it's not kinked and your hose was in this direction, I would highly recommend taking everything off, including this one-way valve, and blowing it out with air to make sure there's no debris and no water in there. That's gonna be the first step. Second, there is a fix that actually positions this hose like this. It goes into a little clear capsule. There really is no chance of it getting clogged or sucking up water. But we have shown and we have proven that this will work just as well because it's very difficult for the water to get in there. Secondly, if this does not work, you could have a clogged fuel bag or a bad fuel pump or both. If that's the case, then it would be a great time to upgrade to our high flow fuel bag and our high flow fuel pump. Both are highly recommended for this machine since the fuel pump that came with the STX-160 is very, very underpowered compared to previous models. By repositioning this breather or getting the fix from Kawasaki plus the KP fuel bag and the high flow fuel pump will really make this a very reliable machine that you don't have to worry about any longer. So if you had any of the symptoms that we listed before, take a look at this hose here and make sure that you follow the steps in this video to make sure it's clear. And if it is clear, then most likely you need a fuel pump, a fuel bag, or both. Hope this video helped a lot of you guys out. Please leave any comments in the section below. And if you have any other questions regarding this issue, please reach out to us.